Hi, my name's Richie Gray. I'm the creator of the Rhino Collision King Technical Training Range. Good ball, ball, ball. There it is, there it is, there it is. Hold, good man. Good, strong position. Stay strong. Go on. We come onto this first bag here. It's the genuine low bag. Half the size of a, a normal taco bag. But the key thing with this bag is the weight. It's 13 kgs, but you can also add another 7 kgs to it if you need. So the senior weight would be a 20 kg bag. Now, when you think that a taco bag comes in at about 13 and a half to 15 kg, this is 20 kgs of weight, but in half the size. So you've got to be technically very good. Your body height's got to be excellent. And you've got to make sure that your follow up with arm and grips is spot on with this low bag. Go, go on, in, 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 good. Up, over, hold. Hold! Hold! Get a grip, get a grip, get a grip, get a grip! Good lad, and hold there. Good. This is the Collision King Grip and Rip bag. So it's exactly the same as the low bag, but what you have built in right the way around the bag are four grip points. So what you're looking at your player doing here is again, good solid body height, good approach, strong tackle, but in, up and over the bag as quick as they can. So then they're fighting for a grip. So literally a double hand, one, two, or a double grip to here, and a good strong finishing position. So what it's asking them to do is all of a sudden, instead of just a low bag and a basic hit, you're also looking to fight for the grips as well. So it's a stealer's bag. It's where you can work hard with your players on stealing ability, your uh, jackal, uh, your fetcher as it's called around the world, and this is the bag to do it on. Roll, the Excellent. last bag Roll. here has a training effect as well. This is the Arms of Steel bag. Inside this is a core, a central core that's filled with kiln sand, a very, very fine sand. So the harder you hit this bag, the sand reaction within the tube put, goes to the top. So if you hit this bag hard, the sand then moves to the top of the bag. So if your grip and your arm strength isn't strong enough, you're going to struggle to control this bag when you're rolling it. So for example, crook rolls, and when you're moving to knock the bag oh, over and get back good up onto your feet again. So it brings around a good certain man. training good effect. That's it, good lad. The final part is this here, the Collision King power disc, which has been engineered in a certain way so that if you drive down on the disc, it won't move. You've got to drive across the grass, which means as a coach, you're looking for hip sync, and you're also looking for fast feet, spine in line, eyes up. So it's all about body height. The four colours dictate the four different gates. Green gate, red gate, yellow gate or blue. So you can call your player in and out, which means that they've got to work on movement, they've got to work on getting into the gate line, and they've got to work on hip sync. And you can add weight to it with Olympic plates here in the middle. So the four pieces of equipment, low bag, grip and rip, arms of steel and the power disc can all be used together so you imagine you can create a circuit with these things or you can work with the individual training aids on their own this is the collision king technical training range